If you edit your Instagram Reels in Adobe Premiere and you wanna know how to maintain the highest quality, well, here's my updated video on how to do exactly that. I'm Tech Boogie, let's jump into this. So first we wanna make sure our Premiere settings are dialed in, but before I do this, I have a link in the description of this video where I have my free Instagram Reels Premiere Toolkit that I created that I'm gonna be referencing throughout this video. So make sure you download that to follow along. So let's now open up Premiere. Up first, we want to check our sequence settings. So let's go up to the top here, hit sequence, sequence settings. First thing we wanna note here, time base should be at 30 frames a second for the smoothest playback on Instagram Reels. Frame size, even if you're filming in 4K, you still wanna upload in 1080p. So we wanna have 1080 as the horizontal and then 1920 as vertical. And then at the bottom over here, you also want, actually at display format, you wanna make sure that it also says 30 frames per second. And the rest of this should be okay. Hit okay, great. In the actual timeline, I'm gonna be referencing something that's in my Premiere Toolkit, and these are my overlays to double check what your video is gonna look like after you post it. So I have these two overlays here that you'll see, and one is what it'll look like in real. So let's activate that so we can see. So we wanna make sure all the important content of our reel is within these bounds, because that's what's actually gonna show up in reels after you post it. Um, let's deactivate that, and let's see what it looks like in the feed. It looks like everything that's gonna show up in the feed is gonna show up here perfectly fine. Great. So let's deactivate this. And now we're gonna go to export settings. So let's hit export here at the top. All right, now for our export settings. If you downloaded my toolkit, you'll be able to import these settings by hitting this setting button here and hit import presets. If you wanna do it by hand, um, here's what you wanna do. Hit under format, we wanna select H264. Preset, I like to do high quality 1080p as a baseline. So let's hit that. Now if we scroll down, um, if video isn't uh, expanded, make sure you expand this video settings. And then let's hit match source. Great, and now uncheck this box just so we can double check the resolution here. So we got 1080p wide and then 1920 height, which is perfect. Frame rate, let's uncheck that, make sure that's 30. Great. Now if let's scroll down a little bit. Let's hit use maximum render quality to get the most quality out of this upload. And scroll down, scroll down, all these are fine. Until you get near the bottom of this section, under bitrate settings, you'll wanna have it on bit VBR one pass, perfectly fine. Now target bitrate, this is really important. Let's set this to eight here. The thing about Instagram, to get the best quality, you really wanna make sure Instagram does the least amount of work with your file. If you upload a really large, high bitrate file, then Instagram is gonna to have to compress that to fit it into their platform, and Instagram is terrible at doing that, so that's why a lot of times your videos are really low quality. So make sure you set that at eight. I found that's a great balance. The next thing we wanna look at here is audio. Let's bring down the audio bit rate to 160. Save some room for Instagram to have to crunch that file. Now the last thing I wanna do here is under effects. If you ever notice after you export your Instagram Reels in Premiere and you look at it on your phone or you look at it on your computer, it's really dull, the color is flat, the contrast is off. A lot of times there seems to be a color funkiness and a color shift. And I found this in another video. I also included this file in the, in the Premiere toolkit, but under Lumetri Look to fix that issue, we want to hit Lumetri Look hit applied, hit select, and here we're actually gonna want to click QT compensation, QT gamma compensation, open that. And now it's gonna say applied none, but it actually is affecting the video now, and this is gonna bring your color back to the color that you had when you were originally editing it. Now that's all you really need to do here, and let's hit export. Now I wanna get this file into Instagram. I'm going to airdrop it. If you're on a, Google, you can do Dropbox, you can do Google Drive, you can plug it directly in through USB-C. All right, let's right click this, hit share, airdrop. All right, I got my iPhone here, let's hit that. Let's jump into Instagram. And the first thing we wanna do here is activate high quality uploads. It's crazy they don't have this turned on by default, but you wanna go to your profile here by clicking the bottom right, 
hit that burger in the top right to hit settings. Great. And now we want to go to account and we will hit data usage, upload at highest quality. Check that bad boy. We're ready to upload our reel. Hit plus at the top right here. You can hit reel. Great. And we should select it at the bottom left. It should be the most recent video that we hit. Hit add. Cool. And hit next. And now it's gonna play through. Make sure it looks okay. Hit next here. Once you verify it looks good, set the cover and let's scroll down here, hit advanced settings. And now if you scroll down, you'll see it says upload in highest quality check by default. Thanks so much for watching my video, y'all. Once again, my name is JJ, also known as Tech Boogie. I make videos every week to help you uplevel your business or brand with video. So if you feel obliged, please subscribe and I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.